it's time to upload a logo image. While I was creating this lecture, I realized there's actually a better way to upload images instead of using an image input. We'll be using the Media Uploader. The Media Uploader is that modal that appears when you try to set a featured image in a post. If you don't know what that is, try creating a new post and set a featured image. This pop-up is called the Media Uploader. We can actually use this in our plugins and themes. So let's learn how to implement it. First, we need to enqueue it. Inside the admin enqueue file, we're going to use a special function called wp underscore enqueue underscore media. This will enqueue all files related to the media uploader. Now we can use the media uploader in our page. Let's take a look at the input fields for the logo image. This is all bootstrap markup and not related to the WordPress media uploader. There are two important attributes here. First is the name attribute for the input field. The second is the button's ID. We'll be listening for this button to be clicked so we can show the media uploader. That's it. In the slash assets slash scripts folder, you'll find a file called options.js. This file will contain all the logic to handle the media uploader. We enqueued this file already, so no need to do so again. This file simply has an empty jQuery function initializer. What we want to do is listen for a click event when our button is clicked. When this button is clicked, we'll display the media uploader. First, we're going to call the prevent default method from the event object. We'll get back to this event in just a moment. Right after it, we're going to create a variable called frame. This frame will contain our media uploader's methods, properties, and objects. We're going to set its value to the value returned by the wp.media method. This object and its method is provided to us when we enqueued the media uploader. This will initialize the media uploader for us. This method accepts one parameter, which is an object. We can set a couple of properties, but we're going to set only three. The first is the title of this media uploader. I'm going to set this to select or upload logo. The next property we can set is the button property. This property is actually an object, and we can set a few properties for the button. But I just want to set the text of this button which will be use this media. Lastly, we want to set the multiple property to false. This will prevent the user from selecting multiple images. We only want one image for the logo. Now, we can start using the media uploader. Inside the click event, we're going to use the frame object and call the method open. This will open up the media uploader, so let's try it out. Perfect. WordPress will now take care of uploading images and allowing the user to select them. Now the question is, how do we get the URL of the image after it's selected? Well, let's go back to our options file for a second. What we'll do is listen for an event on the frame object, and we accomplish this by using the on method. The event we will be listening for is the select event and then we'll pass a function that will run when this event is triggered. We're going to create a variable called attachment. This variable's value will be set to an object returned by a chain of methods. Hopefully you'll be able to follow along because we have to use a number of methods to accomplish this. So first up is the frame object. We're going to get the current state of the media uploader by calling the state method. Then, we have to use the get method to retrieve a value from the current state. The value we want to get is the selection property. This will return the currently selected item in our media uploader. Then, we're going to call the first method, which will return the first item in the array returned. 
even though we have multiple set to false. The media uploader will still return an array of selected objects. Finally, the value returned will actually be a string and we need to convert it into an object. So, we use the method T-O-J-S-O-N to accomplish this. That was a lot, but hopefully you get the gist of it. The attachment will now be an object with properties about the image selected. We only care about one property, which is the URL property. The next and final step is pretty simple. We're going to simply set the input field to the value of attachment.url. That's it. Try using the media uploader and selecting an image. After selecting a media, the media uploader will close, which is fine for our case. The input is now being pre-filled with our selections URL. The last step we need to take is to actually save this input's value, which is pretty simple. Why don't you pause the video and try it out yourself? You already have the knowledge to do this. So, let's do this together now. Inside our Save Options folder, we're simply going to add the logo underscore IMG as a property to update. Then, we're going to set its value to its equivalent post value. Of course, we should sanitize this value, but we'll be using a different function to do so. Actually, I want to show you a handy page. In the resources section, I provide a link to the data validation codex page. This page contains a list of all functions provided by WordPress that you can use to sanitize data. The function we want to use is the ESC underscore URL underscore raw function. So, let's sanitize our URL with this function. Inside the page file, we're now going to set the input's value to the logo underscore IMG key of our options array. I've already uploaded the logo image, so I'm going to select it and try testing this out now. If we did everything right, we should now see the URL set after every update. And that's how you handle image uploads.